Uh, are we starting the interview now? You starting the interview right now? Yeah, yeah that's what I was calling. Uh, is it live or is it pre-recorded? No, it's no. going to be pre-recorded. Uh, I'm going to be there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there in about an hour. Uh, I don't know how traffic is right now, so whenever I pull up, I'm going to pull up. All right, brother. All right, so this is the Mars Files, powered by Miami Soundwave Radio, and today we have XXX Tensation. Oh, it's recording? Yeah, it's recording now. Okay. Um, I mean, basically we just start them all off. Like, like you, you already did that no jumper that kind of like covered everything, so I'm gonna just like lightly cover everything. Okay. Um, kind of like tell me like where you grew up, um, and stuff like that. I grew up in the Broward area. Uh, basically, like, I was born, I, I mean, I was born in a plantation hospital, but I was, born, like, raised near, like, the Pompano slash North Lauderdale area, uh, growing up afterwards. I mean, I was, like, like, when I was really, really, really young, and then afterwards, I stayed with my mom for quite a while. I said, well, actually, I stayed for, with her for, like, four, uh, four years. I thought I stayed with her for, like, four years. I got to start getting into a lot of trouble, um. Afterwards, I mean, I, I went to a program, got kicked out of the program, ended up staying with my grandmother. So I started staying in Lauder Hill, which they considered four-way or deep side. Um, after a, a, a while of staying, staying there, I just kind of conformed into getting into a mass amount of trouble and letting myself go. So after I reached that, uh, that point in life, I mean, I, I kind of went from there. So I guess you could say from the Pompano North Lauder Hill to the Lauder Hill area. Yeah. And then, um, I guess, kind of like what, like when you were in school and shit, like what kind of kid were you? Uh, indecisive. indecisive, indecisive, and and not at all uh, the norm. I felt like I definitely felt as if my thoughts were beyond the the normal human thought or uh, human thought process. Because when I was in school, my thoughts were always on a thousand, so that was the reason why I couldn't focus. That was the reason why I yeah, felt as if school was, was like my racing. mind was always racing. So I felt like my mind was somewhere completely else in school. And I, I don't tell anybody this in school because I feel like school is definitely meant for some people. But I couldn't I couldn't handle it. And it's, it's unfortunate to say because I definitely would have liked to graduate to make my, my family proud. But uh, it's not something I fell through with. What do you what do you think it was that that school was it like the people did you like did people, it was me it everything was is me it's my it's like my own madness that pretty much yeah like, eats me and where where do you think that that kind of thing comes from depression 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 and and uh, insecurities why why do you feel like you're you're maybe depressed or insecure because I'm not shit mm. the more you live life the more you realize that you are just like a like speck. A, a, a pebble. Yeah. A pebble out of a thousand. Yeah, like a like a, a pebble out of a, a a mountain of boulders. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you don't feel like you like, like, cause I mean, bro, like you're you're pretty successful, like to an extent, you know what I mean? Like you're not you're not successful uh, successful to to someone that is that is trying to reach that point, but yeah. to someone that is established, no, not at all. Yeah, I I, I, I feel that, but like, do you, do you do you? As you get more successful, does does like the burden of like your your madness does it like? It gets worse. It gets worse. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because it's just more of a thought process. It's like the more you get into this, the more you meet people that don't really give a fuck about you. The more you you just realize like, I guess like it, it sucks to 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 comfort all my fans, and then when they try and be there for me, it's like I, I can't accept it. I don't know. It's a, it's a very uh. You have over a thousand to a, to a million people contacting you or saying anything or trying to uh to to comfort you or any. It's it's like like maybe like the more the it's like blow. It's like trying to kiss. It's like trying to kiss the wind. It's yeah. Not work. I feel you. Do you think? Do you think like the more so like you're saying the more success the worse it's getting? Do you think that's because maybe like it feels like. It kind of almost feels like empty, like you just said, like kissing the wind. Like yeah, I've always always been empty though. I think I'll always be empty. It's a big problem. It's like a like a void, like a void nobody can fill. Where do you think that comes from, or do you even know? Depression and self hate, abandonment. That's wild. I don't I don't even know what to say. Um, 
How did the, I guess, to switch it up real quick, uh, how'd you get into music? I didn't know what else I wanted to do, and music, I felt, was the only way I could express myself or express my depressed thoughts or any thought or any sort of excitement that I couldn't display as far as uh, doing anything in life. Cause I mean, when you get when you get very emotional and you like you feel a certain amount of depression or a certain amount of happiness, it's, what what else is there really to do yeah. besides like do extra like extracurricular shit like like, like music, like, sports, like, like stuff like, like that. sports and shit like that. But I wasn't I wasn't that type. I just. Like I said, my, my mind in itself like eats itself. It's it's a it's a very humiliating process. Do you feel like music's like therapeutic for you? Uh, music is me giving insight as to what I am. It's not therapeutic. It's not therapeutic at all. At all. No, it's it's very depressing to read over or listen to what I what I'm putting out. Do you do you listen to your music? Uh, I do. I listen to it very consistently. And then I guess you're like you're. So like there, so you don't have it. There's no like therapeutic value in it, even like Not when you're I, I even do when it, you're like recording. Like I, it, no, I do it purely to make people relate and show people that. I mean, pretty much, it's, you're not alone. Yeah, you're not alone. That's that's the concept of the alone in itself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's like a big family. Yeah, I was watching your I was watching your No Jumper, and you said that was kind of like your ideology is like yeah. alone. Yeah, I think I wouldn't thank Geneva for that because Geneva definitely was the one that had sh- showed me that and made me feel that way. Yeah. Definitely taught me that concept. Um, so I mean, I guess I guess I kinda wanna ask you like <clears throat> with the whole with the whole jail thing, like you went to jail, you just recently got out, like what was that experience like going back or Uh, it was horrible. It was horrible, it's depressing, you wake up every day, there's nothing to look forward to. It's it's like the gateway to suicide. <laughs> it's like being a step away from one and die every single fucking day you wake up and you see the same people the same negativity and it's just the same thing and that's the problem hold on I gotta call yeah, that's cool. hey Bruno I gotta call you back in like two, I gotta call you back in like two seconds I'm gonna interview alright love you yo yeah what's going on All right, well, I'm in the middle of the interview, so just like, just try and get here as soon as you can. All right, fam. Sorry about that. No, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. So, so, <clears throat> did did anybody know who you were in jail or no? Uh, yeah, it, not, too that, ma- not too many. Was that about, different from like the last time you went? Was that different? Uh, last time as far as when I was a kid, I mean, people knew me on like Facebook and shit. I was always yeah. like, I was always into that whole social media wave because I just saw how much it did for people. Like I yeah. saw people get successful off of like mine. Yeah, yeah. So I always thought I always thought it was like the gateway to a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, social media is definitely what you make it. It's, it's networking all together. So no, yeah, for sure. I mean, all so the money I've made in the last two exactly, years. Exactly. I've done all Twitter. off of social media. Yeah. I haven't made a single dollar off of anything but social media. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. So, so there was people in jail that were like fans of your music type shit. Um, I've only I only met like five like five people like. I went in and I saw my um, I, he's like my brother Corey. Uh, I knew him since elementary school. He was already in there. He already knew what I was doing with my life. I saw someone that I actually had beef with, but like we had squash shit, so he was cool. He knew about my music. He knew what I was doing. Um, I saw a fan yes in there. I saw a fan when I was in Orlando, and then like one more person. So that whole I saw thing, that whole thing, you got you originally got arrested in Orlando. Correct. And then. After that, you got... They transported me to... to uh, how I went is, I went to the county jail in Orlando, got transferred to the Orange County uh, Juvenile, went from the Orange County Juvenile to the Broward County Juvenile, went from the Broward County Juvenile to the main jail, to the main jail, to the Conti, from the Conti jail, from Joseph Conti to the main jail again, and then was released on home electric monitor. And then what's the what's the whole what's the whole situation with that? Cause I see like you got shows and stuff coming up. Like uh, I'll still be able to do shows in Florida. I just gotta work something out with me and my lawyer and the judge and the income on the woman to uh, to kind of work some shit out. But yeah, I, I I actually got a show coming up in Miami um in October and I got a I got another one coming in in Tampa. I'm trying to make sure I verify that I'm gonna be able to do it. But yeah. as of right now, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it. That's dope. That's dope. So, but you you're not really allowed to travel outside. Uh, not outside of state, no. Do you know for how long, or it's still kind of up in the air? Um, pretty much until the case is closed. I got high hopes for the case. Yeah, the, um, I mean, you don't really want to talk about it. Not at it's all. Still open. Yeah, not at all. Um, 
Do, 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 does it feel different, like from like maybe like maybe like a year and a half ago till now? Does it? Does no, it feel I still different? don't feel like shit. You still don't feel like shit. No, I still don't feel like shit, and I don't get to experience it because I'm not a very outside social person. I don't. I'm not the type of person to to spend hours at the beach. I don't really go to the mall. I don't. I don't. I don't browse, man. I don't. I don't go around the city just looking for something to do. I just sit home and think yeah. and manifest pretty much. That's all That's all you gonna realize life is doing. Cause the more you're out at these, at these parties, you're just spending all your energy and you're gonna realize you are, as a being, are energy. So the more you give foolishness or, or any sort of distraction your energy, you can't manifest on anything that you want. So anything with anything, like as far as a music career, as far as if you're a football player or a boxer, you gotta manifest all that energy you have into one thing and that's how you become successful. Some people give them the distractions as far as Twitter or as far as, uh, I mean, as far as, like uh, just as distractions out. as far as yeah. females or, or, or drugs in themselves. It's just all draining the energy pretty much. 100%. Do you do, you, do, you, do, you, do, you do any drugs? Are you even allowed to right now? Like, uh, or is you on papers? Even like, if I did do that drugs, work? I'm pretty sure like the, the police, if they're going to investigate me, they would check this. So no, I do not do drugs. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. My mind is a drug. I mean, how does it feel though to be free? Like, do you does it feel the same as being in in the jail? Or I mean, it's got to feel a little different, no? Um, I don't feel free. You don't feel free? No. Damn, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess what are your what are your like moving forward? Like going going forward, what what's your plan? Getting, what's, uh, for an announcement to my fans and a, 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 a brief apology to everyone that has expected me to stay underground or is expecting me to forever remain um, what I am or to, to take the, the slower route. Uh, I've taken the slower route for quite some time. I've seen where it's going to go. Uh, it's a very relationship-oriented thing that I, I can be in as far as the underground because I get to constantly watch my, my social media or pay attention to my fans. And I will always pay attention to my fans, but as of now, I wish to expand so I can become more controversial than I am now. Because as far as the, the content I've released, I have some pretty, uh, I have some pretty outspoken shit on there. I have some pretty like, some pretty crazy shit on there. Definitely. Like when when it's discovered just based off of radio play or anything like that, it'll definitely I'll definitely be very 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 controversial as far as. I mean, just the industry period, yeah. the world period. I feel like I'm gonna have a say in a lot of things if I keep going at the direction I'm going. Yes. But um, I mean, I'm gonna I'm expected to drop at least two to three music videos on um, World Star, uh, with my buddy JMP Photography and a friend Nashaker, uh, and I'm expected to drop a song. I won't say which song, but I'm gonna drop you dropping a song on uh, the radio. I'm not sure as to what radio station yet, but we are coming are the, to a conversation. Are those videos already shot or they're <clears throat> no, they're not. The works? They're gonna be in the works, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, what uh, what like what motivates you? Like what 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 makes you want to depression? Do the music depression motivates you? Yeah, because I, I'm tired of seeing people like fall to this shit. Pretty much, it's like, bro, you, when you go through this shit, you just it's like you. Dog, it's like being alive but not being alive, dog. It's like looking, it's like really being, it's like being in jail, bro. It's like being in a mental prison. Yeah. And like, that's not something that anybody should feel like they're alone in. Cause I want people to pretty much know that like, that feeling is not, it's, it's, not, it's not just, just you, you that feels that way. Cause it's like, that shit really leads on to something. You feel me? Like I'm, 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 I'm pussy the, about the fact that I'm still alive. You feel me? There's some real, there's some real kids, like kids younger than me that real deal like, are tired of this shit, bro. And yeah. I, I mean, that's just due to past lives and due to, to how many times they've gone through the same shit over and over again because they haven't learned their history. But I just mean as far as like, with anything, man, it's, it's, it's I, I'm just distraught at, at seeing people succumb to themselves. It's, it's, it's a sad thing to see people succumb to themselves beyond anything. And I'm not talking about, about crime. I'm not talking about murder, rape. I'm talking about like a real deal, like, you hate yourself and you're the reason why you're gonna die. Yeah. That's not a good feeling. I mean do you do you do you feel that way? You feel that way? Uh I don't know. Do I feel you. Um I guess like do you do you feel like you'll ever be happy? Like do you feel like no, you'll ever find I don't, happiness? I don't believe in happiness, I believe in joy. 
In what? I believe in joy. I don't believe in happiness. So do you ever feel like, so is there moments where you have joy? Yeah, there's joy? definitely moments of joy. I definitely will always find moments of joy. But happiness is... How do you, how do you feel about that word, happiness, the feeling? How happiness, feel I feel like that? it's fake. I feel like it's a very fake word. I feel like happiness is something that they, they truthfully say, like... It's permanent. They try and say happiness is permanent. Like, yeah. like the way they speak on happiness, they say you find like it's like saying you find it permanently. But yeah, yeah. There really I is no happiness, and I they say that. happiness lies within because when you're okay with yourself, yeah. and you can find peace within yourself, then it makes everything so much easier. But even then, you don't find happiness. You find contemplation, contradiction. You find pretty much just just your thought process starts to race. No matter how you dwell into the shit, it's, it all always comes down to a thought process. Yeah. Even not thinking is a thought process yeah. because you have to get down to that level of thinking. But you don't also feel like maybe maybe it's like up to perception, like maybe like you, like you could perceive like, like maybe, maybe it's all like up for interpretation, maybe like. As far as the way I, I interpret things? Yeah, like maybe. I'm a certain breed of man. Maybe if you interpret it a different way, maybe. Yeah, you'd definitely, feel a I'm a way. certain breed of man. That's why I said depression doesn't necessarily find everyone. Yeah. Everyone has a depressed moment, but I'm a certain breed of man. So it's only really. My vision is only for those who can relate. I don't really speak for those who are happy. I really don't speak for those who are, are you know, have constant joyous moments. I'm speaking for those who are still in my situation. Yeah, 100%. So that's why I can only speak to those who are in my situation because a man of happiness would never even find joy in my music or find joy in my words. Yeah. But he would I just mean, look at me like a fool. But I would also, also just to play devil's advocate, I would say that like, it's kind of like maybe somebody who's really happy is like, finds your music and it's like, like the same thing as like a kid lives in the suburbs listening to Chief Keef, you know, yeah. it's like, it's Sometimes like they a, discover my shit and yeah. it, it, just, it just all depends on what they find first. Yeah, not like, for a sure. Lot of, some people find my depressing shit first and they fall in love yeah. because they see what I am from the very joint. What's, 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 the favorite, what's your favorite song you've ever done? I spoke to the devil one? in Miami. He said everything would be fine. That's your favorite one? Yeah. Yeah, that shit's dope. That shit's super <laughs> you dope. heard it? You fuck with it? Yeah, I fuck with that. I fuck with King. I fuck with Snow. <laughs> I fuck with those. Yeah, yeah I like I like all my emotional shit. I don't like my I don't like my, my I mean, shit. Uh, look at me though is like the jam. I'm tired to look at me. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you are. It's gonna get so much bigger too. So yeah, I'm really yeah. gonna be tired of it. Yeah, I'm tired yeah. of it. I feel like I feel like that's a thing though. I feel like I feel like artists like their biggest yeah, their songs, biggest songs they they fucking hate. hate. Always. Sorry, I got I got answers. Nah, no, do your thing, bro. Hello. Yo, okay, I'm gonna call you back in like two seconds. I'm going through an interview right now. You straight though? All right, fam, I'm about to call you in to check on you. I have been wanting to check on you. All right, fam, I'm gonna call you. Okay. Thanks, sir. Um. Yeah, we good. You want another beer? Oh no, no, I got it. Um. Hello.